so last time you guys took down the primal matriarch and then went around Riverbend helping out the survivors. Uh, during this time, Morley had mentioned uh, when the plane of that's right when the plane of Earth phased through yeah. the prime material plane, uh, <laughs> there was a um, drop, Romeo, a, a, a steep uh, energy level drop uh, mm. that he recorded from his instruments when from the ley line that crosses over Leona. Um, he's gonna monitor the situation, of course. Uh, Kassoff did ask you if it'd be cool to bring some of the survivors outside, like around the keep, so they could recover fine. You said it was fine. And since, you know, since the Feywild and the Prime Material Plane experienced like a elemental plane kind of phasing into their own plane, you guys just to contacted the Obelix, uh, Obelix uh, Brax from the Shadowfell. Like, hey, any, any, any weird shit happening lately? And indeed, the Plane of Ooze kind of had like snuck into its DMs and left some plane oozes and stuff. It's fine. Um, and then you guys sent Ascending to the Relic of Shar, and it seems to be around the neck of some kind of shadow creature. Who knows? We'll, we'll store that tidbit for later. That's not Yeah, we're just going to file that away yeah, in the yeah. cabinet in of the... other shit we need to deal with after the apocalypse is over. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so you guys went back to the keep to plan. Uh, Isadora did arrive. You, you, you did the whole, like, magi magic check on her. And she had let to, came to let you know that uh, the former former regent uh, for King Jonah, uh, Tester, he said, whenever you guys are available, um, to you know you can come up have a meeting with King Jonah, see how he could help you, and also noticing that you guys are kind of like doing everything to stop the apocalypse. Isadora has you know volunteered to be kind of your social administrative assistant. Hooray! So, like, anything you need, like, uh, di like diplomat-wise, anything of that nature, you know, just give her a magical message, and she'll go take care of it. You also decided to stick Nenrin into the tome of Ayun, and mm -hmm. to be to be very fair, he's very happy there. A place where it's he was always wanted. meant to be. And this is all he ever wanted. So, this is like this is accumulation of his life's work. So basically, like you guys, he will do all your research in this place. That's right, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> every every what bit is... of research. He know your 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 dog knows everything. Good boy. Um, yeah, he, he did, knows he, all. He knows all. Um, no French fry. <laughs> <laughs> not French fry though. No, no, no. You do not jump on the PC. Um, okay, so when you guys were, you know, you were chilling in the Tome of Ayun, um, Zul, your librarian flump, uh, remembered at that point where she had seen Birdfriend before, and Birdfriend's name, she claims, is Tweet, and she, and he, he, Tweet, belonged to a cleric named Leknuk, who was actually part of the group that Eagle Eye was part of, um, and there is a drunk tiefling named Ixen who owned the book, but yeah. Um, so you guys decide, hey, why don't we feed the he weird health potion to Birdfriend, but we need to get consent first. Birdfriend had no, or Tweet had no fucking idea what you guys were talking about. Because this bird probably has in an intelligence of three or four. No clue on consuming health potions. Except it was food. What is consciousness? The bird wonders to itself <laughs> as humans ask if it wants to be something else. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. wondering what consciousness is is something that lots of conscious people do. Yeah. So, you know. Just saying. Seriously, for intro. I guess uh, for more French of an like, animal, it would be what is mom? what does it mean to do more than just eat and make a baby? Hmm. I swear, French fry has shit. French fry has like a consciousness, like it, uh, like he has some. There is some higher brain in there. 
Oh, it's meatloaf. You can tell meatloaf human words and she understands. <laughs> Cats are smarter than the, we think they are. Oh, yeah. Genuinely. Okay. Um, you guys had decided uh, previously that you wanted to go to the Feywild to talk to Brother Ox. And Nick Nevin um, said you can take Peanut, you know, her... her and her, Thousand Branches. And, and to talk to Thousand Branches. Uh, you can take Peanut to fly to the mountain where Brother Ox is. And Peanut is her three-eyed mystical fey owl. She'll she'll know she, Peanut will know how or how to get there, um. So yeah, uh, that's kind of where we are. So are we plane shifting to the Feywild? Yeah, I don't think we have anything to do today. We were just kind of gonna go. Um, I be do you guys need I believe you guys need like you guys teleported today so I believe you guys need a long rest yeah yeah for that. sure okay that's cool mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah I remember um, we were getting a long rest um, I put some I put a, at least one new spell into my spell book it takes two freaking hours to do that for some reason per spell level um can i also say that i sent a message um i was sending to um the mm -hmm. at some point just to check in you know tell him and the baby that i miss them you know sort of thing okay uh they were yeah, he'll he'll yeah. reciprocate. He'll let you know that you know, he, um, he and her are, are doing fine. Um, okay. they love you. They miss you. Um, okay. and just as you were as, as just as you were leaving, there was a. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's crying again. I have to go check on her. <laughs> and oh that no! Was like, like the last like three, three words of the twenty five message twenty five word message. Uh, that he sent you. It doesn't sound like, or it's just sounded like, oh, she's just crabby. Right. Again. Yeah. <sighs> Fair enough. Okay. Just wanted to check on them, make sure they were okay, you know. That's all. Okay, sounds good. Um, so you guys will take a long rest, so hit the long rest button. Um, don't want to be a neglectful wife, you know. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're kind of, you kind of trying to prevent the apocalypse at, at this time. Uh, yeah, I think you're being the best wife on the planet right now. <laughs> I think he he understands. Along with along with Zaitari, because <laughs> <laughs> we're both preventing the apocalypse, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So when you guys sleep for tonight um tilda oh oh no you drift off to sleep and when you finally go into rem sleep um you find yourself in a very beautiful uh, planescape. Well, not planescape. A very beautiful plain with like near the edge of a forest and like just beyond the forest you see a magnificent city behind a almost pure white wall and a golden gate. Um, And it's like you wake up Am and I you're, dead? you're not <laughs> <laughs> I don't you don't think you're dead. Uh, when you when you like wake up, your body is like the back of your, you know, you're on your back in the grass, and you're looking up into like a clear, bright sky. Okay. Um, well, first of all, now I know I'm dreaming because <laughs> of laying down in the grass. No, haven't done that since I was a child. Disgusting. <laughs> 
Um, I'm sorry, what did you say? I said dis <laughs> like the it's disgusting. fine. It's yeah, yeah, okay. disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> gotcha. Sorry, I have to um move. Go away. <laughs> Somebody got nippy. There we go. Okay. Um, I might have to put him in the bedroom in a minute if he keeps doing this. Okay. And you hear a voice to your right. Uh, Would you say he was at Nippy? <sighs> I hear a voice to my right say, Die! <laughs> Smite it. No. Um, and it, uh, you hear the voice, uh, a feminine voice say, Well, I see you're awake again. Well, technically asleep, but awake in your dreams. And mm -hmm. it is it is Arathis. She's still there mm -hmm. from like the last time as you guys had been walking. Mm -hmm. And she asks, how was your trip to Inkulta? Um, fascinating. Uh, there was a, uh, well, I... Curious. Um, do you know what happens in Inkulta? Or... And are you asking for... Um, <clears throat> conversational purposes? Or are you asking for uh, reconnaissance information? Because you don't know what happened there. Oh, I, I know what happened there. Ah. I, I'm merely asking you, what did you think of Uncalta? I thought it was interesting. Um, it is certainly different mm -hmm. from the owner. Um, the philosophy on the gods, certainly different. Um, but to each their own. Um, indeed, found someone I'm going to murder. <laughs> um, <laughs> my, my child. Um, and there was a, well, you know, there were quote unquote god killer, um, automatons mm. and some sort of thing. God slayers, that... right? I haven't seen one in a, in many, a uh, many millennia, not since the. Not since the war with the primordials, but fearsome um, devices um, that were developed for us. But any particular reason you ask? So the reason I ask is I know that your group is currently going through the steps in preventing the perhaps collapse of the planes and you are all doing you're all doing very well like better well, than somebody is confirming it better <laughs> better than some had expected. Let's put it that way. But this... I have something to ask of you. If we all survive. This is only if everything goes well. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Inkalta has been separated from the rest of the world for a very long time. And I feel like my message to you pr previously could have been a little misinterpreted. So I'll be a little more clearer now. 
if you are successful, if you're friends and you are successful, and I, I hope to everything that you are, I would love it if you could find a way to have Inkalta rejoin the rest of your world. They have that's that <clears throat> not an easy not going to be an easy task. I know. And but I think at if if and when you are successful in in saving all of us, I think you'll have a little more leverage then. <laughs> but also, you would bring you could bring up the point that if a catastrophic event were to happen again, it would be so much easier if everybody was involved. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Um, yes, I believe so. Uh, Should I be worried that there is going to be some sort of apocalyptic, <clears throat> excuse me, apocalyptic uh, circumstance after we potentially save the world from this particular apocalyptic circumstance? <laughs> You you see Arathis kind of like give one of those like sad smiles to you when she says as long as time flows as long as there are beings that live on there is certainly going to be more catastrophic events it's hmm. just how things are uh, unless you know you somehow create paradise there's always going to be conflict and conflict will always lead to events of all types good and evil catastrophic, mundane. That's the way the world works. Do I know what the next catastrophic apocalyptic event will be? No, I don't, honestly. Or I, I would tell you right now. But I don't have that foresight. And I wish I did. It would make things a lot easier for you and your friends. Honestly. It would. <clears throat> You're not wrong. Well, that's a lot of people to convince. They have very many diplomats. But I can certainly try, darling. And that's um, all and that's all I really can ask. I don't need a guarantee. I just... I just would like everybody to try to work together. And... That's how civilization is supposed to work. After all. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh. And... I hear you might be visiting Al Gore at some point in the near future. Indeed, that is the intention. Well, give King Jonah my love. Um, Certainly. And... That's about it. Do you have any questions for me before our time is up? Oh... Of 
few. Um, go on. First of all, uh, heard a rumor about your husband. Mm. Do you know whether the rumor is true or not? I don't know. Really? Can I make an insight check? Yeah, you or can something? make an insight I mean, check if you want. Insight I doubt I'm gonna... God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I doubt I'm I, gonna do well enough. But... Check. It's fine. Hey, you never know. You, you never, never know. You truly never know. Thirty one is not bad. <laughs> you get the feeling that she's not lying to you when she says that. Okay. Are you afraid of bringing it up, lest he remember his, quote, true, unquote, nature, and return to it? I see. I would say more that it is not his true nature, but his original nature. Fair. Um, and I would like to think something like that would be near impossible unless he steps into another circle of transformation. And who knows, at that point, he may turn into a primordial of some sort. That's how uh, Plundera gets two sons. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Dark Sun because it's never night now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm not worried about that. All right. <clears throat> um, any chance since you're asking so many favors of me mm -hmm. darling uh, perchance may I ask one of you what would this favor what be watch over my husband and child <laughs> make sure that should anything happen to me that um, they are both safe hmm. <laughs> I would say that I could do that. However, what makes you think I haven't been doing that this whole time? Let's just say I hope you have, <laughs> but I like confirmation. Fair. Then you have it. Thank you. By the way, I hope you don't mind that I've been wearing that uh, piece of your dress in my hair. It's really quite a statement piece. I, no, it looks. Um, it actually looks quite lovely. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I am. I think. Uh, Uh, I can't really think of anything else to say to her, so other than kind of like chatter. Mm -hmm. So, uh. Okay. Unless she has other things to say to me. No. 
she hasn't eventually you guys kind of you know you guys talk for a little longer and then mm -hmm. her voice starts like getting more and more and more muffled as if you're like mm. you know getting further away or your head's in like under a pillow or something and then mm -hmm. you slowly wake up in your room Very well. And it is morning for those who wake up. Now you can... Who's dead? <laughs> I was about to say, for those of us that wake up. <laughs> that was very suspect, Derek. Yeah. I was like, God damn, who got thrown into a coma? Uh, I have to... I'll be right back. No way! No way! dead. Everybody's alive. Okay. So you say? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sus. <laughs> Kids say. Makes that a uh, Among Us noise. That. Uh, when you're told, like, told what your job is gonna be. Oh yeah. Just. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know. Can't recreate it. You have uh, any of y'all listened to the Worlds Beyond number? Uh, First little bits trickling out? I want to, I just don't know where to find it for free. <laughs> um, the first full episode is on Spotify. Okay. Wherever uh, for free, <laughs> that is not on Spotify, because I don't use Spotify. I would have to sign up, I assume, for Spotify, and that's just not happening today. Uh, I think it's also available wherever podcasts are available. Yeah. Again, you have to sign up for these things. I'll probably figure it out at some point and listen to it then. But uh, no, want to, but haven't been. I presume you have. I have. I'm, I'm also on their Patreon. Mm. It's very good. Like we knew it was going to be. Yep, I've been hearing great things about it. Excited for uh, Matt Mercer to. Um, start DMing for D20. I love that that teaser trailer was 30 seconds of Matt just standing there and people are losing their minds. Yeah. Just sitting there just, you know, with a funny with a kind of funny look on his face if you really look at it. And yeah. Okay, I'm Matt back. Matt Mercer. Okay, so it's morning. Um, I assume you you guys are phasing to the Feywild. Um, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing in the Feywild again? <clears throat> we are going to go talk to Nick Nevin. Nick Nevin. She's gonna. Uh, zip zoom us over to probably talk to a thousand branches and uh, then we're gonna fly up towards the mountain question mark uh whatever order you guys want to do it in i figure um leaving mountain for last because that's probably going to be dangerous right okay just trying to figure out what my spells are going to be um Obviously, I think I have to um, do plane shift, because, yep. <laughs> Ugh, god damn it. Just... I pick up the Shards of Dawn and just yell at it, I need more spell slots! 
in ways to prepare spells. Uh, if only. I don't actually do that, but I want to. Um, yeah, feel free to do whatever. I will cast a plane shift. Use my seventh level to get us to the Feywild. And uh, I will be looking at different spells for the rest of our, you know, while well, people talk to Nick Nevin or something. Okay. Um, so you shift to the Feywild. There is a kaleidoscope vision, <laughs> temporarily, and you are, again, um, on the mountain with the giant crystal embedded in it, this time without the high winds. Um, it looks like that um, Nick Nevin's coven is currently in the... In, currently cleaning up the leftover piles of sand that were left over um, by the air elementals like whipping around everywhere um, and she does see you um, she you know walks briskly over to greet all of you ah Zaitari good to see you again good to see all of you I see that you've uh, dealt with the wind elemental problem then? Mm, wind elementals and all sorts of nasty creatures, but in this, oh. in my, in my dome, in my, um, in my neck of the woods. Um, we had uh, earth elementals on the material plane. Oh, that is rather bothersome. <laughs> and a big ass storm, I think Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I jumped right at it and tried to hit it, and then it almost killed me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that does sound like Melanie. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, 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 se good times. Yeah, that seems <laughs> very, rather unpleasant. Huh. I'm lucky we've only, we, in, in this part, only dealt with er, um, air elementals. I did, I do believe the River King had something a little bit um, robust in his part of the, the wilds, but, um, uh, so far, I haven't heard anything too... We had some damage in various parts, but it doesn't seem like it was too, too bad. Um, how can I help you today? I'm sure you're here to visit some individuals. Yes. Um, I think we're going to, if this is all right, uh, if... We could have transport to speak with Thousand Branches first, and then we can go towards the mountain to speak with Brother Ox. Oh, yes, of course. Um, let me get Peanut. Um, she takes out a, a, a small, like, whistle-like... Um, in, uh, a, well, it's a crystal that's kind of like in a whistle shape, and she blows on it, but you don't, you guys don't hear anything. Um, and like a few moments later, there is like the great beating. Well, actually, roll a perception because it's an owl, so I don't know if you guys would hear it. It's a very I'm so good at those. It's very. It's, it's an owl. They. Jesus, Rain. What are my elf ears here? <laughs> no, I, should I should have advantage, but that's the first roll anyways. I'm too busy. <laughs> Tilda's too busy preparing spells. <laughs> I mean, I would have done that beforehand, but... Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Liam, I tried to go into a box that was full of cans. Empty cans. <laughs> So um, would you say you cannot go in that box? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um. And so, Ray and Aoife, 
it it it's right you you pick on the wings uh immediately Aoife, you barely hear them and zaitari and tilda is like yeah <laughs> still looking around at the devastation that was caused by the airplane mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. <laughs> literally <laughs> literally the airplane <laughs> Um, when a, like, huge three-eyed owl, um, just lands gracefully in the middle of, uh, in the area, and just off to the side a little bit, kind of just, third eye is currently closed, but the other two eyes just, like, blink slowly towards all, all of you. Um... And then with on his large owl legs, just slowly like trots over, um, assumes the okay, like kind of dips a wing and assumes the all right, get on position. <laughs> um, it's put upon owl. <laughs> um, before we go, uh, since we're here, not like I necessarily would expect you to necessarily know anything about this due to it being a very specialized <clears throat> tool uh, but I'm going to kind of motion towards Aoife um, we have this meteor hammer hmm. I was going to say that's so Hold rude calling Aoife a tool <laughs> 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 well Mostly motion towards Aoife, as in, like, to, like, step forward a little bit, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I, of course, I can take a look. Uh, if, if you present the meteor hammer, uh, Nick, yep. Nick never will take a look at it. The craftsmanship is certainly intricate, beautiful. And what did you say to her that you want her just to look at it to like Hello? Um Mallory? What? Sorry. I, I was like, what did you want Nick Nevin to do while she was looking at it? Like what did you want her to to discern from? Sorry, it? I I literally zoned out. <laughs> um It's okay. Just uh, if she can give us any insight on the relic and how to, I don't know, awaken it, I guess. Since she's a more powerful magical being than any of us. Rude. Like, I, hey, come on. She is the <laughs> witch queen. I am the chosen of a god. So am I. I know. <laughs> so... Uh, the obvious way would be to somehow rebirth the god that would be associated with this hammer. Um, Somebody's already uh, on yes, that. The obvious first step. The obvious first step. Uh, mm, the other... Just shin out a god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't... Yeah, we'll just uh, all collectively get pregnant, and I'm sure <laughs> we'll just, you know, push out a deity. <laughs> Me and Mel are willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, to be fair, Rain, Shada kind of already is <laughs> one, so. Yeah. The... I think we got the track record. <laughs> mm, true, true, true. <laughs> the other way of per perhaps doing this, and it's a long shot, but I've heard things like this have happened before with gods that have this have been deceased is if you could somehow you don't need the entire god but if you can somehow revive its consciousness there might be enough there for you to get this relic going again okay so i don't have to you don't shit have out a god <laughs> i just have to take the god's brain put it in a jar and shake it till it wakes up in a manner of speaking yes why didn't I think of that? How how do you awaken a god a dead god's consciousness? 
That's an excellent question. There are a variety <laughs> of ways. Um, most of them are rather unpleasant. I assume you the don't want to go. Doing is unpleasant. I assume you don't want to go to the objectively immoral route. Well, I mean, I'm I'm just honestly curious what that entails now. Well, the objectively uh, immoral way would be involve the sacrificing of thousands. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, no. I, I I figured that was a, a no go. Does it count if they're really bad people? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you have that many people, it probably wouldn't matter. I don't know how of a, 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 a deity of benevolence would feel about that. Probably pretty pissed. Probably pretty pissed. I understand really so. The other, the other way would be if you somehow had a piece of said god and you are able to funnel enough magical energy or energy of any kind if you're resourceful to quote unquote wake it up energy in energy out just think about it in those terms. Okay. And then... Well... You, Never mind. You all are very creative. I'm sure you can think of something. And I... You know... Uh, I am always here for guidance. I may defer to you guys. I'm kind of creative out with the whole, you know, mastering a, a new key manipulation and everything. I mean... Oh, shit, I can't remember her name again. Who's uh, Tamara's daughter? Um, ah. Roka. Roka. I mean, we could ask Roka again uh, to meet us and see if we can draw out um, some of Tamara's consciousness. Mm-hmm. That's the only idea that I have, though. But we could ask Brother Ox. See where that goes. He does hold... If anybody knows any secrets, it would be him. Are you saying you don't know any secrets, darling? <laughs> I know secrets of a particular... A particular... Uh, of particular subjects. Hmm. Brother Ox can, if he doesn't know it, he certainly has ways of finding out. That's why so many people travel to him, o other than obvious training. The others are scholars who make trips to find out the secrets of the universe. Um, well, yeah, let me know if you, you, you need anything else. Um, Thousand Branches is currently where uh, the Queen of Air and Darkness used to reside. He has um, taken over that area. Um, so yes. Uh, safe trip. And Peanut will be able to take you to Brother Ox's Mountain after your visit with him. Thank you for the assistance. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Always say thank you. We are most welcome for your <laughs> assistance. I, 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 I'm. This is all patron, right? Yeah. 
Like, Nick it Nevin's is a little different, like, but yeah, you Nick... also can't like discount my the fact that I forget everything all the time. <laughs> Nick Nevin's like I literally just said <laughs> I forget everything all the time. Twelve minutes ago. <laughs> Remember, no true names. What's your no name saying... again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no true names. No saying thank you. Where um... are you? Where am I? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and safe travels. Um. And as soon as all of you climb on Peanut, he will quietly take off into the sky. And you guys climb higher and higher until and further and further away until the Crystal Mountain is a speck in the distance. Um, it doesn't While we're flying yep. over the brooch, um... Because we all have one, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Does Eva have one? I, yeah. Yeah. Eva yep. has one. Okay. Um. I'm going to say. The talk about reawakening a god and energy in, energy out. Give me a, an idea, a thought. Um. What if, we used the energy of an old one to awaken Timora. Is that possible? I don't see why not. Do you have a specific old one in mind? Well, um... What's the one that we're fighting, Dune? Uh, Natosa. Natosa. Uh, and what's the one that we fought when we were uh, shoved into the future? Uh, and we went to Yamet, uh, I believe. No, it was Yablink. It was Yablink. No, the Yablink's already uh, gone. Okay. Then, apologies. It was Yamet? Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, Natosa, Yelnet. Uh, perhaps we don't even need their actual energy. Maybe we could use one of those cysts, the energy from the cyst, to sort of instead of sending people into the future or something, uh, use that for waking up. Timora. We could probably also ask Lyris. Hmm. Yeah. Just a thought, darlings. Just you know, noodle around in your in uh, all of our heads. There's certainly a lot of energy in an old one. You aren't wrong. <clears throat> Very really energy. Out. Consider multiple sources, perhaps. As in... Well, they said it could be like a god or... What, like a... Great volcano, uh... Lightning, one point two gigawatt. <laughs> I mean, oh, well, we did just kill that big primordial storm. Too bad we couldn't capture it and make it I mean, wake up tomorrow. We are dealing with ley lines shifting and spiking and stuff. True. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I need water. Okay. Black cats are so photogenic. They are.
Okay. So, as you guys fly, it, it takes just like about maybe an hour and a half until you get to your destination. Uh, where there once was a castle, it is entirely covered in vines. It's like a scene from Sleeping Beauty. Like those thorny vines before you get to the castle. It is absolutely covered in in, the, in that. Um, the castle itself looks like it's being engulfed in vegetation um, of like English ivy vines. There's some purple wisteria flowers that are poking through some of the foliage. There are thorny roses that are just a plethora of different uh, flora that just carpet this area. It almost looks like it's in uninhabited. And then as you get closer and closer to the ground, the vines and the vegetation actually split open and there is a like a tunnel way for peanut to fly through as if it's letting you guide as if it has a mind of its own and it's actually letting you in and guiding you to where you need to go cool um you there after a few twists and turns through the tunnel um it comes into and just past the now crumbling uh crumbling castle that is just being crushed under the weight of all these gigantic vines um there is a there is like a body of water um that opens up into a beautiful wild garden um f from all directions like in the edge of this like this like open small uh like glade almost there are tall willow trees that cover the that are above you that stand like at least a hundred feet tall and the foliage at the top isn't thick enough to block all the sunlight so you're getting there are just streams of sunlight that come through these willow branches. And can everybody give me a perception check? Okay. Uh, Rain and Tilda, you clock them immediately, like hiding among the willow branches. There are these tiny branch-like fey creatures that are just looking at you. Like they're just like almost perfectly camouflaged in in the trees, just like observing you as Peanut is has made his way into the middle of the glade and is now just like fluttering down. Um, the rest, the rest of you just see, um, just see like, oh, there are a lot of branches here and trees are moving a little bit. Must be the wind. Um, off to the side, there are other, there are other creatures like, you know, um, there is a family of, uh, white deer, um, where there's a doe and several full, several pure, almost pure white foals at the water's edge. Um, on the other side, there looks like to be like some foxes that are, and foxes chasing one another. There's some like little stouts that are just chasing each other up a tree. And it's, it's not quiet. I mean, there's this sounds of like animal life everywhere and just rustling in the trees and then peanut just like has glided down and has um just you know gotten to the position to let you down from his back and he seems 
perfectly like calm and collected. Um, and then as you guys are walking off Peanut's back, um, through one uh, portion of the dense forest, there is the vines um, open up and they create, they looks like there's a path that's being created. And walking through that opening, um, there is a very familiar tiefling. Um, except now her horns have been transformed into uh, that have elongated and now resemble uh, tree branches and hanging off these tree branches are just like branches of weeping cherry blossoms uh, that start to run down the middle of her back. Um, she is wearing w what is just a very simple um, green tunic and like you know just plain, plain brown leggings and when she when she you know fully steps out she says it is a it's good to see you again and if you remember this is elena who had gone with thousand branches to help establish his now new domain um how are you everyone right Thousand Our branches was living inside her. That was right. Um, he was part. Yeah, uh, init okay. initially. Um, okay. after they, after he had transferred from the cult that she had been a part of, he needed that's right, that's a temporary right. vessel. Um, it is good to see you. Uh, welcome to uh. The domain of Thousand Branches, or as we simply call it here, the Glade. Um, how can? By the way, this woman was our former boss. Yes, right. At she the was. Treasure at... Hunters. Exactly. Yep. Um, I I assume that you are are in need of something. Um, how can how can we help you today? Uh, this is a really bad time to leave the chat, <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry for having to go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, you guys can talk, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. know. I was like, somebody please, please <laughs> save me! All right, so... <clears throat> um... Well... <clears throat> we were hoping to uh, speak with Thousand Branches to see if um, he would be willing to lend us some assistance in the <clears throat> prevention of the end of uh, life as we know it. Hmm. Oh, is that? I see. Well, uh, if you give me a moment. Um, she turns around to the forest behind her and... She, she lifts her hand and she turns her hand, her, her right hand, um, in kind of like a sweeping motion. And all of the sudden, the forest behind, like the eastern part of the forest behind her, like, combines itself until like there is no more forest. And the trees move. The trees and roots and vines, they all move around, like towards you guys. And then it, they take a sharp turn around you guys. And they start to coalesce into a pile of branches and, and roots and leaves until it shapes itself into a gargantuan living tree dragon um, with glowing green eyes. Um, 
once it settles on its form, it rests itself in a sitting position, um, like, and like just towers over you while sitting. Um, the willow trees have moved, like, have moved its branches out of the way, so it so it could um, so it doesn't bump his head through the branches and now you guys are beneath an open sky um with a very large tree dragon looking down at you and like this rumbly rumbling growling voice comes out and you hear i am listening Oh, hello. Um, <clears throat> pleasure to see you again. Uh, lovely what you've done with the place. I, I feel like this is more of the aesthetic I am accustomed to. Thank you for... I, I thank you for your kind words. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. I know. Um, I know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he does kind of. He does kind of owe you, though. He knows what he's mm -hmm. getting himself into. Yeah. Um. So, I'm sure you are aware of the pending doom, um, that is potentially coming to the entire plane of existence. Yes. Uh, I feel it in the earth and in the trees itself. I am aware of what's coming <sighs> um well at this point uh Zaitari is going to kind of uh, motion towards Aoife again uh because Aoife knows the plan <laughs> better than anybody else um you and could, explain yeah Aoife you could just assistance. say plan it yeah <laughs> yeah this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. The whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. Um, Here, like I, I'll take I'll take it out of my bag of holding. Okay, here's the whiteboard. <laughs> you should just have a whiteboard. So like, okay, this is the plan. Step one, yeah. step two, step three, step four, step five. Profit. I feel like a minor <laughs> illusion. I could probably like. You could probably do that. Illustrate. <laughs> and the rest of us are just in the background, like cleaning our weapons. <laughs> yep. Well, it's starting. Doing more spells. <laughs> so, if I am to understand correctly, and stop me if I don't, you want me to help you dissect an old one, and because it's going to be so large, you need something of large stature to assist you to do so. More or less. This is correct, yes. I see. Well, as... As with the rules of owing debts, I do owe you a great debt. And I am willing to repay this debt in helping you disassemble this entity. Just think about the unique life experience it'll bring. <laughs> it kind of like blinks very slowly. Its tree, <laughs> its tree bark eyes are just like... Like as if saying, I know that was kind of a joke. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many people are going to be able to say in all of existence that they've dissected an old <laughs> uh, anyways. Sorry, um that somewhere somewhere you know, in the background, like a small like there a small leaf like pats you on the head. <laughs> Well, don't they crave unique experiences, generally speaking? So, you know, it'd be a little true, you know? I don't know. That could have just been Artagan I mean, who wanted to choke somebody out for once in his life. I mean, this, this, this guy has been part of, like, stuck in a cult for, like, a, a decade or so. Or, like, yeah. more than a decade. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of just like, I just kind of want to chill now, but it's like, uh, all right, I guess I got to do this. Um, But... Uh, I will assist you in doing so. Um... Oh shit, there! Because this is really important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we were establishing, like, hey, 
like Nick Nathan's like, hey, you need anything else? Um, we would have asked her, hey, can you like uh, make sure that we're not going to come back in like 100 years when the world's yeah, fucked? Yeah, 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 yeah. She'll, <laughs> she'll, she'll make sure of that. Okay. Just, uh, <laughs> just wanted to establish that because I only remembered it right now. Um, I will speak with Nick Nevin. Um, I'm sure she has the capabilities of transform transporting me and her to the prime material plane. Um, if that is all, I will start making preparations for when I have to depart. Uh, is there anything else I can do to help you all today? Um, we plan on seeing, well, trying to find uh, Brother Ox next, mm. uh, as we are in need of uh, individuals who are masters of manipulating key. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are aware of any other such individuals that you could point us towards, that would be extremely helpful. Or yep. uh, individuals of such a large stature as yourself that could also might be willing to assist in dissecting the old one. I might have somebody. If you oh, shit. And she might be in the area. She might be a little hard to pin down. She might be in our area, or she might be in your, in your neck of the uh, neck of the woods. Um, are you aware of a, another animal lord named the Queen of Mammoths? Um, can I make an Arcana check? Yeah. I don't know who dared you tell me. Um, <laughs> let's see. I would like everyone to note I got a natural one. Yeah, I still, <laughs> <laughs> still And I still got a higher. <laughs> uh, shit. Um Listen, not all of us can be smart. <laughs> Some of us are only just pretty. <laughs> you know that uh Queen of Mammoths is a f um, a ferocious warrior. Um, her name is Lagerda, and she often wanders the frigid foothills and tundras and lives among her own mammoth subjects. She tends to typically stay neutral in a lot of conflicts. Um, Thousand Branches will, you know, re re it will, you know, tell you all of this, but he will then say, I know that often Lagerda and Brother Ox are often allies. And she could be an ally in this situation since it affects all of us. She, I, she is not a. I do not believe she is a key manipulator. Uh, however, she could probably help you in the other aspect of this endeavor. Absolutely. I don't know where she is, but I assume Brother Ox, since they work with each other often, knows where she is. Then uh, we will definitely inquire. Uh, to her whereabouts. Thank you very much for uh, that tip. <clears throat> you know, mm -hmm. in words that don't actually say thank you. Yeah. Because, listen. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, if you don't need anything else from him, um, he, his form will retreat back into the forest that that is behind Elena, and but he keeps the the top of the willows um, open 
for you guys to get back on Peanut and fly away without crashing into any tree branches. I would also love to tell Elena, because that's when I had to get up to, you know, use the bathroom, mm -hmm. um, that she's looking very, very excellent. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it is. It's been quite the transformation. Um, you are all looking well as well. Um, she will bow and say, "Now, if you excuse me, uh, I will. Also, I will also need to get ready for when." Are my esteemed board starts his preparations. Uh, also, before we leave, Tilda had a baby. Oh, congratulations. Oh, she must, she or he must be absolutely adorable. She is. <laughs> Tilda's kind of looking at Zaitari like, why? <laughs> because she was our boss, you know. I think you were pregnant when we were in the Feywild, technically. Yeah. I guess. I'm just trying to be nice and play and catch up. Okay. You okay. know. And Zaitari got married. Yes, I did. That's right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. It was a very special so. And Rain and Melanie. <laughs> um... I, I um, <laughs> Melanie would say something. I don't think Rain would, but <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Melanie would definitely. Oh yes, and I got married as well. <laughs> or, like, they're engaged. They're engaged, unless you've had your your wedding and didn't invite any of us to it. <laughs> We're engaged. We adopted a that kid. That might be the one thing Tilda could never forgive. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I You're think fine. you guys already adopted Shadok. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, not really. This is a fictional person that we're playing catch up with. Are you insulting our seven year game? That the these are not part of our real internal lives? No. <laughs> No, this what doesn't suck. Insulting. This is our real life. My real life, anyways. <laughs> wow. Okay, real. Let's go move on. <laughs> well, I, I will probably see you again once. I'll probably be going with Thousand Branches since, um... I assume you'll need every uh, hand you can get. Yes. Very much so, in fact. Mm. And I will look forward to working with you once again. Uh, safe journeys. And... Oh, Iskin got married too. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Did he actually get married or just... Is uh, that... He got married. That's yeah. right. Okay, there was the actual ceremony. Yeah, it was a short ceremony. Mm -hmm. Everybody's everybody's getting, getting married. Wow. Well, you know, the end of the world kind of... Yeah, yeah. It does, it does, it does. This is like the worst Facebook update. <laughs> like, you haven't logged on in eons, <laughs> then you show up and it's like, I had a baby. I got married. I got married. I had a baby. I graduated from, you know, <laughs> wherever. And some really, you know, prestigious university. <laughs> what have you been doing? Hanging out in the forest? <laughs> Listen, uh, she is off, helping a fair board establish a kingdom that is Chief, very uh, executive work. assistant to a fey lord <laughs> exactly mm, it exactly looks, it looks really good on the cv mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> there there are no she gaps ten more years than she'll be able to work anywhere mm. uh but yeah she she says i wish you luck on your journey uh don't get frostbite <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going yeah. to a mountain. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing I keep those winter clothes in the bag of holding. Okay. Uh, I'm sure Melanie is happy as compared to going to a fucking desert again. That's true. 
she'd probably prefer the 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 cold to a desert. Yeah, but the metal would be cold too. The metal of her armor. You got a lot of stuff padding on before yeah. you put on armor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anywhere that the padding doesn't reach, it's is pretty much everywhere. Be, like, Uh, with all of you on Peanut, Peanut flies off uh, towards the, the the northern mountain range. As you, yeah, Peanut needs, yep. he needs a giant hat of balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As um, as you guys are flying towards the mountain range. The it start the temperature does start to indeed drop, as you would expect, and the wind starts to pick up, and then the wind continues to pick up. Satari's just gonna say, "I thought they took care of this <laughs> problem." Um. Somebody, uh, anybody, uh, or everybody, if you want, everybody roll per anybody that wants to can roll a perception check. I'm gonna be so good at this, as we all know. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, Zaytari, so, you're just like, huh, she I'm just trying to keep my hair in check this time. Yeah, uh, Aoife, Tilda, Rain, you're starting to notice Pe Peanut is struggling against the wind. And even though he's like a huge creature, you you're also starting to feel like you need to hold on pretty tight to Peanut to stay on him. I'd like to inspire Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> you you can. How do you inspire Peanut? I described the most. Uh, the the largest rodent I've ever seen. It said, "Surely McNevin will give you a delicious R.O.U.S. for breakfast." <laughs> Get back. <laughs> uh, well, it's D six, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Peanut looks like he's doing all right now. He's just like mm, rodent. <laughs> And, like, just flies a little, like, you know, writes himself and flies uh, towards the mountain once again. Um, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, I have a bell mm -hmm. um, that... Uh, so I'm going to read you the text. Okay. You decide if it will... Uh, apply here. It says, you surround yourself with a purifying mist that neutralizes toxins and pulls dust and smoke from the air. Um, so, I mean, it's not dust or smoke or toxins, but it's snow that is, um, the, the mist eliminates airborne problems and uh yeah would this snow and wind be considered an airborne problem I, that we may i hmm, i wouldn't really say so it's kind of like a weather problem okay that's fair i just thought i'd ask okay um give me one moment you know you can't knock the hustle no i can't i can't i can't blame you at all Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> A lightning bolt comes from the ground. Oh god! <laughs> and hits Peanut. <gasps> and Peanut what? does not is not able to dodge. Can Peanut. I um, deflect energy on that bad boy? Um, the problem is it wasn't your... You weren't the target. It was Peanut. 
fair. <laughs> Otherwise, I w if it was an mm, if it was an a it is it is your thing single target damage or AOE damage, or does it not um. matter? It is uh, just when it, it's the exact wording is when I take acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, or thunder damage. Okay, so when you take, but this is peanut, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, lightning isn't supposed to come from the earth. Nope, no, it is no. not. It is so not. So what the hell? Well, well, you'll see in a moment. Oh, perfect. Uh, uh, hold on, let me check my spells really quick and make sure I don't have anything that can, like, negate this. Yep. <laughs> I don't think so, but, you know. Because um, it's not like I can make, like, a magic shield that will protect us from uh, magic bullshit. Um, magic yeah. bullshit shield. Yeah, magic, magic bullshit. <laughs> um, no. Activate. I would have had to have seen, obviously, like, seen the spell to counterspell it, so. Yeah, plus, it's probably I'm sure it's very far thing. away. Yep. Um, it, yeah, so, Peanut starts to, like, lose control and starts heading towards the ground. He's not, like, he's not, like, dead dropping, but he's guiding himself down to the ground. It does look like his wing has taken some damage, and that's why he's making the emergency landing. Um, I'll, cool. I'll throw a healing word into him. Okay. Um, and I, I was going to do a, a Guardian of the Living on him since he's right there. Okay. So. All right. I'm casting Featherfall on all of us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that tracks. Right. <laughs> Just in case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's like you're either falling or you're not. I think. Uh, let me see. So he and you guys land. Let me get Peanut out. Okay, well then I prepared Featherfall should we all start falling, which I mean, technically, we are. Yeah, I mean, he, he <laughs> is. <laughs> he is, definitely. That came out of my um, Ring of Spell Storm, so yeah. I, if it's cool with you, Ro, if you don't put Featherfall on me, I think um, falling in D&D &D makes no sense, um, but I can fall faster. <laughs> And not take any damage, so. Okay, fine. Yeah, they didn't really think it too well through. I mean, I get no, terminal I... velocity and all, but... But it's one you know... round. You, you would go from whatever height to hitting the ground within one round. It's like, come on. <laughs> all right, so, so, yeah, I'll... If I land first, I can prepare. And whatever. Be ready to defend, basically. Okay, so Peanut lands around. Hold on, let me get him on the. I also officially switched to Firefox, and my uh, character sheet is much happier nice. about yeah. it. Uh, so I think yeah. it was Chrome doing, doing the bad. Mm -hmm. Chrome doing Chrome things. Yeah. Funny how we're all ending up back on Firefox eventually. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So Peanut lands over here. Um, so he's towards the south um, of the map currently. Mm -hmm. And then you see what caused you guys to um, to, 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 to fucking crash. Uh, over here. Now let me reveal this on the map. Uh, it looks like there is a small storm that oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> it, it, but it, 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 you know, 
wind wind elementals. <sighs> At least it's not another primordial matriarch, <laughs> I guess. Um, no, it's just the primordial baby. <laughs> Behind this storm, there is a yeah. sandstorm that looks like it has become very angry. Let me get the... Hold on. Let me just make sure the yep, turn order is clear. Um, Peanut looks okay, but he's just like... Kind of like frazzled currently. It's like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> hey, it's okay. As long as he's like not... Dead, you know, like our healing helped a bit. Then, oh yeah, he's he, he, healing. He health wise, he looks okay. He's still shook. Um, while we were falling, could I have popped out my arms? Yeah. Right, I also have to make initiative rolls. So I wasted lucky, and I got a same goddamn. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'm going at a nine. <laughs> Would it be zero and nine? Nine and zero or zero, nine and yeah. one? And, and minus one if, you know, there's someone else at zero, you okay. know? Uh, so that one's going at... <clears throat> and then... Slow Storm... Is going at literally that's what it's called. It's called a slow storm. Oh, we only got two things to deal with. I'm just making yeah, sure I'm only. not missing anything. We can see. <laughs> okay, that's true. So far, <laughs> nah, this guy looks grumpy. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. So Zaitari, then Tilda, well, Ifa. Tilda, what is your dex? No, actually, this thing's probably faster than you. Um, My dexterity score is a fifteen. Yeah, this 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 thing is uh higher than that. Okay, and then the slow storm. Great. Uh, so rain will go twice. Uh, Zaitari, what would you like to do? Not die. Okay. Um. Well, this thing's. Um. See, I'm just checking the range on. Hexblade's curse. What the hell is it? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Alright, hold on. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, 30 feet. I think too far away right now. Yeah, so... I'll step forward five feet. <clears throat> uh, do Hexblade's Curse. It's my bonus action against this thing. Okay. And I will send out some Eldritch Blasts. All right. Sounds good. Oh, nice. Natural one. Dodges to the left, gets hit with the second, Woo! and gets hit with the third. Um, Oh, that um, that thirty-four would crit. Wait, 
Oh, it's because I rolled max damage. They those both of those thirty fours will crit. Okay. Uh, because I crit on a nineteen right now. Does that seventeen hit? Um, oh no. Yeah. Seventeen does not hit. Oh damn! Some max ass damage. Okay. <clears throat> um. Don't forget to roll a couple of d10s. Yeah. I'm just uh, double checking what else Hexblade's curse does. Damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just making sure that I was adding the proficiency bonus <clears throat> to the damage. Um, and, yep, okay, so 2d10, uh, 8 extra force damage. All right. Uh, since I only moved 5 feet, I'll go ahead and move away so that we aren't in a nice little cluster uh, oh, I can't use them oh that's why Five, uh, by 20, the way is anybody Jaegering Melanie 30. tonight okay. or I, I had assumed not I, I made adjustments I would prefer okay. not to All right, Aoife. All right, I'm going to run up to it, of course. Um, mainly so I can lock it down up here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and punch it a bunch. Okay, sounds good. Uh, that will hit. All right. And then the rest are going to be unarmed strikes. I'm going to do four more, so I'll do a flurry of blows. Okay. Um, the 22 and the 26 will connect. So 14 and 17. Uh, and all these get the additional damage. Yep. I am calculating that in. And why not? Let's try and stun it. Okay. I don't know if I can stun the storm, but let's try. It is a slow storm, so you might be able to stun this. So he can save. Okay. DC 19. It does make it. It's a hardy storm. You notice that the Fair little enough. bulbous um, center has little, like, two little black eyes looking at you. I don't know. I don't cool. think I like that. <laughs> Uh, are you are you are you good with your turn? Yes. Okay. The sandstorm elemental, which is in the back, is going to dash. Let's see. It doesn't have feet. No, it hovers. So how can it dash? It's gonna zoom. It it zooms. There, okay, that makes me feel better. So it's yes. gonna zoom. This way. Um, Does it pass by my reach? No, it made sure not to. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Rude. I have a ten foot reach. Rude. <coughs> Sorry, you have a ten foot reach. Yeah. It's... Yeah, because of my my actual arms. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah. So it would have zoomed this way. It so would have been. I can reach it. Okay, you can try. Yeah, sentinel. Um, I am going to ask you when you do that. Let me see. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> I've made a mistake. I no longer wish to sentinel DMs. Like, too bad you asked for it. <laughs> uh, I need to just check the vision. Um, heavily, lightly, okay, uh, that doesn't have anything, but you notice as it zooms past you, uh, you are, uh, lightly obscured when you are that, when it's in your vicinity, but that doesn't do anything to you, so you can hit it if you wish. You, uh, dang. you, you do not hit it. I'm sorry. 
zoo. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Uh, just so you know, Tilda, uh, Zaitari, you are in um, a 30-foot uh, radius of swirling sand that is lightly obscured and is difficult to rain. Mm, fun. Yep. Cool. Uh, but it did dash, so it, it can't really like uh, do anything. It doesn't hit rain? Um, it, it dashed, so it does, can't move, do anything else on its turn. No, the, uh... No, 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 I oh, mean the it aura. it does also hit okay. rain. Rain, okay. you are, you are also in the aura. Let me just turn it on for you so you can see. It's like, so I'm more... sorry, if we're suffering, then <laughs> I'm sure rain is too, so I just want to <laughs> make sure. So, now you can see. You <laughs> okay, are in you. the aura of badness. Um... <laughs> Tilda. Hmm. So, I have this spell. Okay. That, um... It does say, uh... It neutralizes toxins and pulls <laughs> dust and smoke <laughs> from the air. I knew, that was <laughs> I knew that was coming up again as soon as, soon as the sandstorm was described. <laughs> The mist eliminates airborne problems, including smoke, dust, okay. and poison. Here's the problem with this. Oh, God. The source of the sandstorm is right there. So even if it kind of sucks in things, it's just going to come back. I don't know if it works. Well, you're the one who gave me this damn spell. So... I demand that we at least consider it for a second. Okay, let me, let me, okay, so, it is sand. Mm-hmm. It is not Which a... Which is a type of dust. She's not wrong. <laughs> if it was fine enough sand, maybe. Oh my god, we're going over the semantics of sand? <laughs> I work with sand constantly, damn it! Um, <sighs> Alright. So, essentially... Okay, wait. So, this is continuous. So, you would be fighting with... <sighs> if you want to, you can cast it. It might work. It'll still be lightly obscured. Maybe between you and it, it won't be difficult terrain. How's that? Uh, between me and it. Yeah. So if, how about if I if I throw on? Can, how do I throw? On? It is a twenty foot radius. Yeah. Centered on me. Hold on. So if we did this, hold on. Let me turn on your aura. Thank you. Uh, we'll make your aura uh, purple. Uh, 20 foot. I feel like... You have so, this, okay. this, th th that area around you, that would be not difficult terrain anymore. Great. Then I will cast... Um... Yes, I will cast Dance of the Unicorn. Okay. The unicorn on my, uh, what's it called? Uh, my signet ring glows as I cast. Okay. And suddenly, we, you know, some of us can see again. Uh, it was only lightly uh, obscured. Mm, it was enough. It was blowing my hair around. I didn't like mm. it. Um, and I shall... Um, why are there no bonus action cantrips for moi? Yep. Um, going to... Uh, can I, like, hunker down underneath Peanut? Just kind of, like try to get some cover from his wings or something like sure, that. Sure, if you want to. Be like, Peanut, I will, I promise to heal you 
if you protect me. <laughs> Darling. Who? <laughs> me. Booty who? Who? <laughs> me! <laughs> we, could, we could go back and forth with this. It's like we can do this forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm going to kind of... I don't know how to put this on the board necessarily, but I will say want you're to hiding underneath a oh. owl. I can't technically be hiding because it's a bonus action to hide, and I'm not a rogue. Uh, in that case, owl I have is my bonus action. All right. So, uh, are you? But all... I am trying to get cover. That's good. Uh, are you all set? Yeah. Cool. It's just kind of movement. The frost salamander who was clinging on the side of the of the cliff. Dear hey, fucking god. There we go. <laughs> who goes at fourteen? Why? Why this? Cause, cause you guys, you guys need challenges. Um, let's see. You are next to a storm, so he does not want to deal with that. Um, so at sixty feet. Oh, hey, Rain. How are we doing? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're zooming. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's all clear here. Um, isn't that great? So technically, it is still in the aura of light obscurement. Mm -hmm. No, it's looking like the obscurement doesn't actually do anything. Uh, uh, with disadvantage on wisdom perception checks. Yeah, that, that's that's the only thing I saw as well. So, <coughs> there, to there. Look, I don't know. Something about this sand makes me think of, uh, in Pokemon, when you're in a sandstorm and it, you start taking damage, like little tiny bits of damage, but it adds up. Yeah, you know? no, I understand. Yeah. I figured that's what I'm going to do. All right, so, uh, Tilda... Peanut, Rain, Zaitari, it sucks in a big heap of cold air and then blows it in your direction. I need all of you to make constitution saving throws. Do I get any sort of advantage because I'm hiding underneath Peanut's wing? I don't know. Feathers don't really make a big hit. Well, they make a decent... No. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm on the other side of Peanut, and... <laughs> okay, what was it? Cons? Con, please. Saving throw? I got a row for Peanut. Okay. 24. So Rain's dead. <laughs> yeah, you probably. That. You don't know that. You're fine. <laughs> I like how one of them was... You don't know that. Was like, yeah, probably. How far away from me? Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, let's see. And then. Oh, okay. So. All right, so Zaitari. So Zaitari and Tilda, you're fine. Uh, Rain and Peanuts. Oh God, <laughs> Peanuts gonna fucking die. I think Nevin's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he healed him. You healed him up pretty good. He was healed up from the lightning damage. So, you know, electricity taking out the uh, the bird, the flying Pokemon. Hey, this is so cute. <laughs> um, Rain, please take 38 points of cold damage. 
I gotta mark that off for Peanut. Peanut is still okay. Ish. Thank God. Still alive. Um, those Good. who, uh, so, uh, 38, so 19 to Tilda and Rain. I'm um, Tilda and Zaitari. Sorry, Tilda okay. and Zaitari. I take half that as well because I'm <clears throat> resistant, so. Nine. Nine. So, I'm sorry, what was that, 18? Eight, yeah, 19. 19. 19. Okay. Okay. Uh, the okay. It is now the slow storm <coughs> turn. Are people okay? Maybe. <laughs> this okay. the swinging weather is doing hell to um my body in general because uh, mm -hmm. I think it's just like what the fuck is going on? Allergies? Yeah. No allergies? We can't tell. Ah, uh, global warming. Or mm -hmm. global climate change. Gotta love it. Well, it's not warm over here. <laughs> mm. There's no global That's warming for her. Okay. That's why it's called global, global climate change, folks. Okay, uh, it's one-on-one -on -one with you, uh, Aoife. So it is going to attempt to uh, slam you. All right. So, oh, 14 does nothing to you. Nope. All right. It is sad. <laughs> Understandable. Mm. I want to do the other thing, but everybody else is over there. <laughs> do it anyways, and use your recharge. Uh, I might. Uh, I can't do it anymore. Um, Rain, how are you doing? You are literally uh, between two large beats. Well, huge. Uh, One is friendly. Large, you say. And and a frozen chicken. Well, huge. They're technically huge. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna get real wild and crazy here, and say I'm gonna stab this thing. Okay, just a wild and crazy uh, guy. Uh, <laughs> um. Does anyone else remember the show Wild and Crazy Kids? Yep. On Nickelodeon. Yes? Yeah. Really? Yes. I think okay, so. Great. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna use a <laughs> charge and a nymph to give advantage. Because I don't like the cold. I don't like it. Wow. That's why you live in California. Uh, who did you hit? The, the uh, salamander? Well, yeah, salamander. Okay. Um, Actually, you know what? Fuck you, Peanut. No. As soon as he turns around, kills Peanut. You hey, hear, Zaitari, you hear, I'm gonna fuck you over right now. <laughs> you hear a large boom in the distance. <laughs> um, okay, so... And also, this thing is a fae, right? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? We're in the fucking fae world. You promised fae. <laughs> For rain. I mean, I... if if she hit peanut. <laughs> if you hit peanut. <laughs> Coming for you, then peanut. Yes. <laughs> That's why peanut's been so nervous now. He's like, okay. it's like I know what that knife is. <laughs> peanut's like who? Um. Um. Anything else? No, because my next turn right after this so i'm just gonna you know we can just move on to my next turn all right we'll, you're, you, we'll, we'll say it's your next turn now it's to highlight it as a tire but it's your next turn now because i can take a bonus action just like run around like an idiot but um uh, uh, you know what actually uh i won't have used to charge out since i wouldn't be moving anyway so use my bonus action to get that advantage that way i don't use that's one less charge i've used okay 
And now I'll use it because I do plan on moving on this turn. Um, I'll use the charge out of it and attack it advantage again. Much better. There we go. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> kill, 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 kill. 14 and 68. Okay. Damn, look at that fade damage now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I know, right? Um, and then I will uh, bonus action disengage. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, Peanut. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, are there like trees and things? Oh, yeah, and... there's plenty of trees. Uh, there's so many trees. Uh, I run like the. Uh, I'm going to kind of like get behind the tree over here. We'll just say, like, right here. Okay, sounds good. And, um. I'll. I'll. Then. Uh, a charge out of the not so broken pocket watch. I think I fixed it. Didn't it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you fixed it. You know, here's the. Thing. I know you sent me something. It's not in any of my notes anywhere. I don't know where the fuck it went. It's not in my notes. It's not in our messages. It's not in Treasure Hunters. Is <laughs> and I'm good at finding it's things. Awesome. I don't know where the fuck it went. <laughs> um, but I will to get an extra bonus action to hide. Okay, sounds good. You are. Uh, you are hiding. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Rain has abandoned you all. <laughs> Where is she? Is you, she what? He's just freaking out. <laughs> Her fucking fiance has just like disappeared to the wind. <laughs> all right. Zaytari. All right. I'm going to uh, shift a little bit here. Five, ten. Five, ten. Fifteen. Uh, that way I just have a better line of sight on this thing here. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> also, that's technically like ten. Oh, yeah. 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 Fifteen. So it was twenty. 15. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna I'm use my bonus action to cast Hex mm -hmm. on it. Disadvantage to strength checks, because why not? Okay. Um, and. Yeah, I'm gonna start blasting. Okay, sounds good. Uh, this is to the sandstorm? Or the, no, no, slow, no, the slow. The slow storm. Okay, slow. I thought so. Um, that I have hit. Blaze Curse on it, so I wanna yeah <laughs> I wanna take advantage of it. Yep. Um, thirty-one and eighteen and another eighteen. All right, that will be four D somethings. Six. All right. All right. Forty-six of extra necrotic damage. Okay. Plus twelve. All right. Sounds good. Efa. Uh, I have I have twenty more movement. Thank you. Okay. I'm to... Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I really don't think want that thing to breathe on me again, but. I'm actually fine where I am. <laughs> Never mind. I'm good. Okay. Um, Aoife, uh, the since you have started uh, next to the inside. Definitely not inside no, of it. No, you're definitely not inside it. Yet. <laughs> I'm imagining it can just 
much like a water elemental and an air elemental can like engulf, you know? Yeah, and yeah, it's not inside. Well, no, ability. Definitely not inside. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Aoife, it is your turn. All right, uh, no flurry of blows this time, so I'll just do four attacks instead. Okay. You punch a cloud. 16 misses, I assume. Yep. All you right. punch another cloud. You you hit a cloud. <laughs> um, so 28 and 15. All right. Let's... And we'll try and stun it again. Why not? All right. Sounds good. So a DC 19 con save. All right. Uh, it will make it. It has a pretty good con save. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I, um, that'll be my turn. I, right. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna readjust my positioning slightly, but I'm not leaving its range. All right. The sandstorm is going to be like where? Where? Oh, there you are. There's a very open, clear spot right there. Um. Mm -hmm. So it is going to not see rain see you too and it will start to literally become a mass of sand and debris Woo! and i need tilda and zaitari to make dexterity saving throws okay hmm. oh wow that's horrific for me if I'd known it was Dex, I would've hang around. <laughs> God damn, I can't even do anything to re-roll that. Oh well. Yeah, me neither. Actually, Silvery Barbs requires a success. <laughs> well, on our successful attack, it's not doing attacks. No. Making saves is really how you get your players in D and D. <laughs> oh, I know what I want. Um, my ring, or sorry, not my ring, my uh, my necklace to do now. I want it to give me like a charge of evasion. <laughs> charge of nope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> With all the other stuff it does, you know, it would fit. Uh, please take uh, 46 points of slashing damage. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Um, Boy, you got fucked up. <laughs> uh, Do I get... Sorry. So, Tilda... Yeah. Um, you rolled a natural one. Oh no! I did. <laughs> you are permanently blinded. <gasps> huh? Shards of debris go into your eyes. Per permanently? I mean, you could. That's what she said. Yeah. It's a good thing we have the shards of done. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. Um so you're blind. I'm sorry. Here, drink this health potion now. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Just bring your sight back. Turns into a little gremlin. Um <laughs> Okay, uh Tilda, it is your turn. You hmm. Uh All right, I pull out the wand of healing words, I hope, and... I feel like you would know exactly where it roll is. Roll a wand. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I figure I probably keep them in the same place uh, as I keep the wand of cure wounds, too, though. So it's like, I hope it's the wand of healing word. Uh, I say, I kind of hold it out in front of me and I say, Peanuts, darling. <laughs> You're going to have to work with me here. Um, 
<laughs> you and me, darling, uh, hold your wing so that it touches the tip of this wand. Uh, he will do. He's a smart owl. He'll do so. Who? <laughs> Thank you, darling, and I will cast uh some healing into him. Okay. Of some kind. Uh, um. Let's go with um. Three charges. So two D four. Okay. Thirteen hit points mm -hmm. and um. Hang on. Um. Uh, since that is a bonus action, um, and, uh, so I'm going to try okay, verbal somatic. to yep. argue here. It's verbal somatic, that, yeah. But it does say, uh, point, a ground at a point within range that you can see. Mm. So I can no longer see, no. obviously. Um, but this was what I was planning to do the entire time. I wanted to, like, t choose the square directly beneath this fire salamander. That'd be really helpful here, familiar. It would be really helpful if I had a familiar. I mean, I will also point out that the heal spell does say the spell also ends blindness, deafness, and any other diseases affecting the target. Yes, but I promised Peanut that I would keep him safe and healed, and uh, I used... Oh yeah, that's right. I also think this is more of a regeneration thing, not a blindness condition thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, looking, it, I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> um it does say for this monster. Okay. Um now I'm just I would have been watching that section very closely. I would have known I'll say I'll give it to you because it, it's it's a huge creature. It hasn't moved. You kinda know where it was. I'll give it to you. Alright, hold on. Let me, right. Let me roll okay. its thing. Uh, um, no, his dexterity save is uh, four. Oh, plus whatever. Uh, four. Yep, it definitely does not save, so it's fifteen. Um, it is also vulnerable to fire, so that's what I was hoping. That's that's a good thing. Um, it is still alive. Damn it! I don't think we really. Oh wait, no. No, he's, he's somebody he's, really he's, hit it. Yeah, yeah. He's nearly dead. He doesn't look like he's long for this world. Damn, yeah, rain did stab the ever living shit out of it. I was really hoping to get it before it went on its turn, but yeah. Um, uh, would you like to move? No, because I don't know where I am. I can't see anything, and I would like to actually uh, huddle even further Into underneath peanut. Peanut's belly. Okay, yes. that's good. Just, uh oh. Okay, so... You all just hear, I can't see! I can't see! Um, since it doesn't know where you are, Rain, it's just gonna go in the same direction it was. Okay, so... 60... Holy bloody fuck. This thing has maimed me. <laughs> so it, it's gonna continue to do so. So it breathes freezing breath again. Bitch. Yep. <sighs> um, constitution saving. Con save. Or, yep, con saves, please. Um. Hmm. Shit. Oh, and damn it. Um, 
I should have been rolling con saves for uh, Dance of the Unicorn Concentration too. Um, okay, hang on. Um, it got you too, Rain, actually. It's still blowing in the same direction. It didn't see you, but you ha you, you were caught in it. Uh, what was it? It was a con save? Yep, it's a con. No, it was dex, wasn't it? Nope, it's con. This no, is, no, the breath it's is con. con. This is a cold breath, so it's con. The dex yeah, the was- sandstorm The sandstorm was a dex. dex. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone remember what the, uh, um, Ice Breath did what damage it did for the first time. It was below 30. I think it was 29. Yeah, it was something, something like, that. like that, I think. Was it? No, no, it, okay. It was 19, wasn't it? That was when it was halved. Right. Oh, yeah, so that's so right. I... So it would have been like 36. 38. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, And so I took 19 points down. Technically, I took. Well, okay, yeah, I took 19 points of damage, so for that, um, I need a 10 or more for mm -hmm. uh, my con save, which is, um, it's impossible impossible for me to fail that. Okay. Um, even with a natural one, unless you want to count natural ones no, as automatic no, 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 no. failures. But, um, okay, so I was still concentrating then, um, and then there was 46 points of damage from the sandstorm that blinded me. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Damn it. I really could have used that 28! Alright, so okay. it goes away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It goes away. So not only am I fucking blinded... You're cold as fuck. Sand I'm in cold your hair. as shit. There's sand in my hair. I'm and okay. What is the uh, how frost much damage was that there? frost? Yeah. yeah. So the frost, the the frost breath is thirty seven. If you didn't save, motherfucker. Um, I'm guessing fifteen didn't save. Uh, fifteen did not save. Okay, minus thirty seven. I have to take the full part of that because I am no longer because uh, my three points of temporary hit points from my engagement ring. I forgot, I also need to make con saves on my hex. Um, so I need to make two of those as well. Alright, so the uh, first was a 19. So, mm -hmm. for you. So, that was halved. Okay, cool. Then it was the 46. Yeah. And that one is... Oh, okay. Uh, I just... <laughs> And, and then Damn. now it's the um it would the be last 18, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 damn it 18 because it was it's nine it. again okay. but yeah all right okay cool um slow <laughs> storm uh it's gonna move over here just make Eva sure. made the right decision to just <laughs> get away from everybody Yeah, it has no regard for the. Actually, if it did anything, to... it doesn't care about it. So just, um, Ifa, I would like yeah. you to make a Constitution saving throw, please. Uh, is this perchance poison? No. Okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, you you are fine. Um... Why do we never fight anything that does radiant damage? Or poison damage. <laughs> or poison damage. Some of us have immunities. No, I know, right? We could really use a tank right now, too. <laughs> I don't know how much she'd be helping. Since all these are area of effect things. Yeah, but she'd be able to... We'd have one more person doing crap ton of damage. Well, I guess you better go yell at Lynn. For mm. uh, actually, no, you better go yell at the storm that's over Lynn. Yep. 
Like... She's being attacked by her own error element exactly. right now. Alright, hold on. She's being attacked by her own primordial matriarch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on. The primordial matriarch found her. <laughs> heard you were talking <laughs> shit. No. Yeah. It's like, I heard that, um... You know, you had your character, like, kind of just jump my ass. I don't really <laughs> like that. I heard that you were talking shit and you didn't think that I would hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this makes those four days without power make more sense. <laughs> hmm. have People hear you talking like that, getting everybody fired up. Okay, so Aoife, uh, yes. instead of taking 55 points of lightning damage... You will take 27 points of lightning damage. You will also... This is going to be annoying, and I apologize in advance for calculations, but you might want to mark this somewhere on your sheet. Instead of taking... Really, game? <laughs> yes. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to deflect energy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you take one point of dexterity loss instead of two. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love, I love ability score damage. Okay, I take 12 points of lightning damage. Okay, you take 12 points of lightning damage. You take one point of dexterity loss. You don't suffer. So my dexterity goes from a 20 to a 19. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, and you should have read that book. Oh wait, no, that was wisdom in it. Never mind. And you don't oh, suffer have, from your bow rack. The opportunity, the opportunity to improve my dexterity. I don't suffer from the bone rack. Yep. Excuse me. What's a bone rack? We we will never know. Rain. Does the salamander suffer from the bone rack? Let me see. Oh, yeah, please. I would love to see the bone rack play out on this salamander, uh, please. The salamander dies, because <laughs> it okay. only had, like, a couple hit points left, and it still didn't. I mean, it yet. was 55 points of lightning damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now it's Rain's turn, and Rain is going to solve uh, everything. Did uh, it get to... I don't want to be that person, but did that 55 points of lightning damage get to Peanut, too? No, it didn't. Thank okay, God. there's like, only a thirty foot cone. Yeah, it's a thirty foot cone right. in this in this case. Yeah, Rain's gonna solve everything and bring back Rain's eyes on her own. Or bring Rain, back uh, Rain's uh, eyes. Told his eyes. Told his eyes. Told his eyes. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it because I don't want to get close then. Okay. Um. As soon as my sheet opens, um, I believe I am at advantage as I am hidden from it. Um, but that is with crossbow. Yeah, I have sharpshooter for crossbow so the range doesn't matter. Oh, it's 120 feet. It matters a little. <laughs> yeah, after you, can, 20. you essentially have an Eldritch Blast of an arrow. Yeah. Uh, and 28 to hit. So right. Um... Um, I'm gonna move. All I'm gonna say, guys, is this shit is bananas. E A N A N A N A S. And I will dash. Whoosh. And that'll be my turn. All right. Uh, Zaitari. It's like I'm out of here. <laughs> this uh, this fucking sandstorm. Yeah, it's gotta go. Um, it, but it hasn't had. Well, it just had some damage dealt to it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. <sighs> what I um. Would I be able to make an Arcana check really quick to uh, see if I know if I could do Dominate Monster and it actually work? 
Sure. Because it's an elemental, and I don't know if it'll... Yeah. Not like I'm very good at Arcana checks, but you know. Uh... You're, not ex you're not sure. <sighs> I'm not sure. Okay, um... I'm going to try it anyways, because I need this thing to not do the thing that it was doing Okay. again. Okay. Um, and that's how I make it stop. So, <laughs> please, <laughs> make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, it fails with wisdom save, and miraculously, you do feel like you have a hold on it. Oh, thank God! This one does not have the immune to charm condition, so you got okay. it. Okay. Woo! Wipe sweat off brow. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to command it to uh, stop spinning. Okay. Uh, it will follow your command on its turn. Great. Um, I'm going to shout out to the rest of the group. I have a uh, hold on the elemental. <laughs> um... Actually, um, would I be able to command it to attack only the slow storm? Yeah. And not Aoife. Because yeah. I don't want it to do that swirling shit and hit her. Yeah, you could say something like attack the <laughs> other elemental. It can do it that swirling shit and that'd be fine. I have evasion. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna be careful about it because I don't want you to act like roll a natural one and also be blinded. Make them re roll saves. Mm. One, one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's just like my fear will play out in that instance, and it, like, I'm just, I'm not risking it. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to do anything else on your turn? Nope. Okay. Uh, Aoife. Uh, this thing uh, zapped me real good, so yep. I'm going to beat the shit out of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use a key point okay. to do a flurry of blows. <laughs> Just preemptively, that will happen. <laughs> um, And... I'll let you go? know what Bone Rack is after. <laughs> yeah. I'm so curious. Yeah, I'm just going to beat the shit out of it. Why not? Actually, could I have given uh, Aoife a bardic inspiration? I, I mean, it's dead. It was my it, there oh, okay. wasn't much else to it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I won't use that key point then. Because <laughs> I only did one punch. One um, punch, man. I, I look one around punch. and oh. I, I point at the, the sandstorm and I just... Am I attacking that? Um, Sorry. It, I, help! I, yeah, I, I, I deleted the wrong thing. I put the... It, this is now the the slow storm on the initiative or is now the sandstorm. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll, like, respond no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of thing. Because I have, I have hold on this for an hour. Then I will run over to Tilda. Um, who cannot see. Who cannot see. Nope. And I will... Bleeding out the eyes. A healing word, you. <laughs> well, at least I'm not actively bleeding out of my eyes. Seven hit points. What? Who was that? <laughs> That's me. Oh, okay. Eva. Uh, okay. Um... Kind of like, I guess, the shield. Tilda from the sandstorm. Okay, um, the the sandstorm uh, stops its sandstorming. So let me take down the aura. I mean, technically, it <laughs> stops spinning. Yeah, it stops spinning. It just kind of hovers there, and therefore, it would not be a stand a sandstorm anymore, right? I mean, if it stops spinning. I'm st <laughs> it's still it like magic. Be it's magic. Uh, Tilda, would you like to do anything? Uh... Or would you, would you like me to take you guys out of combat at this point? Until you decide what to do with this. You have an hour. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was going to tell the Sandstorm to... Um... Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, pretty much just get the fuck out of here. Okay. 
Yeah, you point a direction, it will get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, move as fast as you possibly can to uh, off of the mountain. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so at 60, uh, like 120 per round, it will go and do so. Great. Do we not? Do we not? Maybe just want to kill it? Nope. I mean, couldn't I just kill it? And that wouldn't make you stop. All right. Oh, it makes a new wisdom saying that reach. Eh, we'd probably kill it really quick. I tell Let it to see. fuck off. Okay, it fucks off. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it's gonna fuck off for an hour. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna get pretty fucking far away. It's gonna be really far. Okay, uh, we are out of combat. Uh, Peanut looks very fucked up. <laughs> Still alive, oh. but really fucked up. Poor, um, poor, poor owl. I'll pour some healing into the owl. Um, uh, you guys take care of those. It's like a pretty low level shit. I will. Um, I'm going to cast heal on myself. Okay, let me take a look at this. Can you do that? What's the divination wizard, divination wizard thing that gives you extra sight? Um, uh, that would be third eye, or the third eye, yeah. Yeah. So, 11 hit points to, uh... Alright, let me get that. Peanut. Peanut, peanut's like... Ooh. <laughs> um... I'll also do a mass cure wounds, because I took some damage, too, and I know Tilda did. <laughs> So, are we taking a short rest? That, I really didn't mean to yawn there, but... Um, I mean, it's still snowing really bad here, isn't it? Yeah. And I personally would like to be far away from the, uh... Well, actually, I mean... Does Tilda know that the uh, sandstorm is not, you know, that you told it to get the fuck out of here? Or oh, yeah, no, I would have said like I told it to okay. fuck off. It's going away for a very, like it's going very, very far away. Yeah, it'd be funny. If, like it just stubbed its toe and it came right back after a minute because <laughs> it <laughs> saved. <laughs> you can use that one for free, dirt if you want. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if heal would cure your condition. I'll say it does, because I imagine, like, the sandstorm, like, scratched your eye with some debris. It did not, like, stab your eye out. I mean... Otherwise, you'd need... That's a lot of slashing damage, yeah. man. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd say you'd need regeneration. Okay, so... You're fine. You you have sight. I did not right. literally stab your eyes out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'll leave that for another um. campaign. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm back up to full with the mass cure wounds and my own heal. Um. How's Peanut looking? Uh, Peanut is With like all the not bleeding. Words. He's not bleeding anymore. Um, and he probably needs a little bit of rest. Honestly, Peanut would have got that master one and drank. Oh right, yeah. How yeah. much? Yeah. How much was it? Twenty two. Twenty two. All right. Okay, Peanut's all right now, more okay. or less. Because I was gonna say, could we get out of? the snow or is this just a condition of us being so far up the mountain yeah that... this is more like um, the mountain weather at this point okay uh yeah i think we're gonna probably have to go on foot the rest of the way so well i don't want to leave peanut here in case that snowstorm that uh, sandstorm comes back 
that's Peanut, my only will we be able concern. to get back to Nick Nevin, or do you need to rest for a while? Um, or would you be able to walk with us? Um, Peanut can probably walk. Peanut starts, like, walking towards the bridge. <laughs> it's an adorable waddle. Yep, it's a yeah, waddle. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge, like, giant owl waddle. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't mind that. Uh, till the Oh, no, up. I did not want to leave Peanut, so you're fine. <laughs> yeah, Tilda will pull out her broom. Um, and, uh, is everyone else okay? Do we need any extra healing? I'll be fine for now. Ooh, ooh, sorry, excuse me. Um, all right. Um, as what? you guys are walking up the mountain, um, can you all give me who is that? Whoever this is deciding to lead, who uh, can they give me a survival check? Whoever that is, I'll give you a bardic inspiration. Unless it's you. Oh, hell no. My wisdom ain't that great. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of figured nice it was going to be Aoife. Aoife, <laughs> you know, Legolas walking up the snow mountain. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Hemlock's not yeah, I saw here Hemlock, right now. Yeah, I saw Hemlock went BRB. Oh. Go cuddle with your brother. You don't gotta bother me. You don't need to knock shit off my desk. Odin woke up and wants attention now. <laughs> and then he went and sniffed Hades. Look at him. He's on his belly. Or on his back so you can see his belly. He's being very cute. He's like, no, I just want mommy pets. Only mommy. <laughs> okay. Well, considering we are all apparently very bad at survival. <laughs> I do and actually, I didn't realize. Oh, no, it's just a plus five. It's not that great. Better than my plus three. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and my plus two. If all. Oh. It is just a skill check if you just want to roll for Aoife. Uh, I can do that. Hold on. And you can have a d12 to add to that. Oh, their survival is only a plus five as well. Oh. Okay, mm. what's uh, Melanie's? Uh, <laughs> I can't give Bardic Inspiration to myself or I would do it. Yeah, it's only a plus two. Okay, so it's Aoife or Zaitari. And... Uh, I will assist Aoife. Okay. And she will have a d12. Okay, sounds good. And advantage, because help Yeah, action? the assistance, yeah, the helping. Advantage. Hemlock, you back? No, that's nope. KK. Okay. okay. Damn it all, KK. Wow. What <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> you? Uh, and a D12. Sorry, I'll just leave here with my plus 24 stealth. <laughs> um, 17 isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, Aoife thinks uh, she knows where she's going. Um, <laughs> about a 20 minute longer walk. Um, Sorry. Could Peanut guide us? <laughs> Since he does know Ooh. where he's going. Who? Yeah, Peanut. <laughs> Who? 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 You. Who? 
And then, like, <laughs> at the end of the game, he was like, ah, I was just fucking with you. I know, I'm more than him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sorry, I keep making all the noises. Um, Odin knocked over stuff, and then I accidentally almost spilled my drink. So. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um... As you are walking up the mountain, um, there is like everyone roll a perception check. <laughs> oh god. I'm pretty oh, sure shit, Rain's gonna spot her first. She's not making um, any That's a ten. It shouldn't be at a advantage. Okay. Uh Rain's, uh, she's not making any, um, any notion of hiding herself. Um, there is a woman with, uh, well, a pair of women with, um, all makes sense so far. Blue, mm -hmm. blue hair and dark, and dark blue skin. Um, both of them? Both of them. Uh, they are wearing, they are both, they are both barefooted. Wearing simple um, blue uh, tunic-like dress dresses, and they like they they flag you like they they they're like ahead of you and they kind of wave in your direction. Um, hmm. As you get closer, you notice that th this pair is are they have an alluring beauty, and their eyes are like a glacial ice. Um, if anybody wants to row an arcana check, they are able to. Yeah, just... so good. Oh, They're god, great. that sucks. Uh, Tilda, you know exactly who these women are. These are known as ice maidens. Um, okay. they are fae, fae creatures. <laughs> Hold on, as I get out more information about them. Um, say. Yeah, they are fey creatures. Sometimes they're born to frost giants. Uh, some are the result of uh, a few result from tearful pleas by pregnant women lost in the snows, desperate to keep their newborn child. And some of them will be uh, some of them will carry the infants away and raise them as other ice maidens. Um, oh, yeah. That's not exactly a, like, good thing. Some are born of the Ice Queen. Uh, not not Isadora Ice Queen. The Fey Lady Ice Queen. Or... Yeah, the one we murdered. Yeah. Well, you, you murdered the <laughs> Queen of Air and Darkness. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. The, no, so, not Ice Queen. The Snow Queen. Sorry, Snow Queen. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, some are also born of a uh, individual named Boreas, which is this mm -hmm. giant, the northern wind, pretty much. The embodiment right, yep. of the northern wind. And they uh, eventually catch up to you. And they ask you, excuse me, um... Are you lost and need some assistance? Can I make an insight check on these? Yeah. Yeah, can I do that given, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Given what I just heard, <laughs> or, you know, what I know about them now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you still, I mean, still no, 15. No. I know, but oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's my minimum roll, and like, you know, a plus 10, so you gotta. Um, one of them is very hard to read. Like you can't get like a bead on her. The other one is kind of more of an open book. <laughs> there, we got two extreme roles here. Um, with the other one, you can tell that uh, there are some hidden motives with asking for you know asking to help you guys out. Um, you notice that the one that is easier to read. Uh, is eyeing Peanut. Um, and she's probably not helping you out of the goodness of her heart. Her frozen heart. Mm. Um, 
but it does seem like they just want it from this one that you can read she will help you are we lost right now uh dm um you're not lost uh but it's gonna take a while um to get where you need to go you're on we're the fine. right path would I I know we're not within um Nick Nevin's domain right mm -hmm. now, clearly. Nope. Um But just based off of what I am aware of about politics in the Feywild, if I were to like name drop her uh and say that we're important people to her, um, would that mean anything or put us in more danger? It might mean something. It depends on who's who are these uh this pair's descent uh are descended from because they can be descended from a variety of you know like they could be they could be been raised from uh from infants that were stolen from pregnant women um they could be <laughs> they could be born from the snow queen or boreas mm. okay um Ice blue eyes. Tilda's ice blue eyes meet their ice blue eyes mm -hmm. and say, we are fine. We seek not your assistance. Be on your way. <laughs> um, uh, if you're sure, it will, it will take you a while to reach where you need to go. How do you know where we're going? There's only one person you'd be here to see. It yeah, your mom. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's absolutely Melanie going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. We seek not your favors. Uh, the other one that was pretty hard to read was, well, well, like, like, you know, like, nudge to the other one. Come on, they don't want our help. It was like, all right. And they will walk off. As we continue, I will explain over the brooches uh, that these are that those were ice maidens, and you know they're not exactly chill. Get it? Chill. Oh, that was pretty ice. Hmm. Cold. Ah. Uh... All right, I'll need some survival checks now. I will again. And assist. again, can Peanut do it because he knows where we're going? I guess that depends on how good of he is at survival. I mean, he knows where you're going. That is true. He knows the direction you're going. I'll guidance Peanut. Okay. I was about to say, I'm going to guidance whoever it is that does this, but okay, never mind. I'll, I will assist whoever is doing it as well. Alright, if you want Peanut to do it, he, he could do it. What's his uh, wisdom like? Plus two. I have a plus What's five to survival. Like, yeah, we know. Plus you're two. The, you're the one we've been following. This. Okay. I'll guidance myself. Okay. <laughs> and roll survival, I guess. All right, roll survival. At advantage because of uh, Zaitari's helping and with another d12, right? Um, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Okay. I'll hand out another one. Did you 20. guide me? <laughs> 27. Okay. Three hours later. Oh, God. <laughs> With a 27. You guys are walking now. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
trudging. Yeah. yeah. Peanut trudging is like waddling happily because he is full of like feather fluff, so he's not cold. Yeah. And you guys. Uh, by the way, Tilda's on her broom. Okay. In case I have not made that crystal clear. Okay. And your eye li- eyelashes have not success have successfully not frozen off yet. Uh, Thanks. He eventually brings you to a mountain path, and goes, Ooh, and he just like points up with his wing. Further up, nods. The peanut. Um, at this point, he like kind of like flutters off the ground, and like kind of like hops onto a ledge, and then like hops back down. Does anyone speak owl? I can understand all spoken languages. <laughs> Who does anyone speak owl? What was uh what was uh owl doing? Uh, he was pointing up um a mountain path, and then he was like hop like he pointed towards it, and he was like he kind of like hopped on to like a low ledge, like just fluttered and hopped onto a low ledge, and like continued pointing up. It's uh, do you want us to go sweet. up the mountain pass, or no, it nods? Uh huh. In reality, is Peanut going to betray us the whole time? <laughs> He's like mm, food. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if an owl betrays at this at this point. Is it really a betrayal, or is it just another Tuesday, you know? Mm. It's a betrayal. I mean, in, in, in some in some indigenous places, <clears throat> owls are like, what, hard virginians of death? <laughs> All right. Till the uh, swooshes forward into the mountain pass. I presume there's like a it, it's like a tunnel of some kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty narrow. Um, it'd be hard for Peanut to fly here, hence why he was like pointing towards like the mountain pass, being like, okay, this way, this way now. <laughs> okay. Um, And, uh, is it protected from most of the cold and stuff? It's not protected from the cold. Okay. It's well. still cold. <laughs> but it's not, like, as windy. Well, yeah, that's what I was... Okay. Still cold, but not as windy. Still cold, but not as windy. <clears throat> I'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> at this point... <clears throat> I mean... I don't know if you guys have ever um, experienced a cold so cold that when you got out of it, even though you were still in a cold place, it was like that cold that cold place was now warm as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Me in the mornings when I'm trying to get ready to go to work and I get in my car and it's two mm-hmm. degrees inside my car. And then I get outside my car to scrape windows and it's minus three degrees outside. So I go mm-hmm. back into my two degree car and I'm like, oh, toasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right. till the um the right. uh so you guys walk along the mountain pass. Please roll a survival to see how well you um how will you make it up? Okay, awesome. Uh, you all were... of us are rolling survival? No, nope, or... just the person who's leading. Oh, I thought, oh. I thought it was all of us. That's why I did it. But okay. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, I mean... uh, Zaitari guides you swiftly through the mountain pass. Wahoo! Um, <laughs> and then you get to 
I presume she does. She says "wahoo" all the way up. <laughs> Yippee! Like, yeah, like Mario. Wahoo! Wahoo! Just spit and jumping the entire way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wahoo! <laughs> Gaching. We just hear coins in the background. Of... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Boxes yeah. appear in midair. Uh, <laughs> you uh, come upon a sprawling stone monastery atop what is considered the tallest mountain in this world. Um, as you make it towards the front of the temple, uh, there are there are no guards, surprisingly, or nobody outside. Um, they you go past the entry. If you want to, you can just walk inside if you wish. I don't see why not. I want to be out of. I want to try to be out of this cold. Okay. It mm. might be warmer in there. <laughs> um as you cross the um the front of the monastery into a very simple car courtyard um you come upon uh the temple's interior which is a uh, simply appointed and pretty comfortable um now, even for creatures uh, not acclimated to, uh, the, to the extreme altitude, um, you pass by the rock garden, a few martial art practice areas, what looks like to be a meditation chamber, which look like there are a couple individuals in, um, some like humanoid, a few that are Yakurian, so yak people. Um, yeah, and there looks like there's like sparse sleeping quarters and a shrine that's dedicated to no particular uh, gods. Uh, when you mm -hmm. get to the end of the temple, like inside the temple, just simply meditating, clad in a simple plain robe, uh, there is a creature that has a massive head of an ox with wide sweeping horns and short dark fur covering its powerfully muscular body. Um, it, it sits as still as a statue on, um, in, in Lil's position, and the only sound it makes is the deep rhythmic rush of its breath. Um, before you, you assume this is Brother Ox, and he ha has made no motions to open his eyes as of yet. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he died in Lotus position. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that that has not happened to somebody in the entire history of the world, okay? I did say he was breathing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll fair. just, like, gently you say, uh, Brother Ox. Um, he will slowly open his eyes. And says, "Ah, visitors." Um, and he he will like um, gesture all of you to uh, come and you know be seated. Yeah, um, I'll sit down in Lotus position, like direct, like bow respectfully first, take my shoes off, and then get in the Lotus position right in front of him. He will he will like bow his head in um, you know, in like in a greeting. And, like, you know, invite all of you to sit. I had heard there were individuals coming up the mountain uh, with, uh, f with uh, riding upon uh, Nick Nevin's uh, pet. Um, and here you are. What did you send the Ice Maidens? I did not send the Ice Maidens. The Maidens, I believe, were from Boreas. Wind? Yes, the, well, one would say the embodiment of the Northern Wind. I just see, he felt like 
press her lips together really hard in an attempt to hold back a joke. <laughs> he got he <laughs> he is stone faced. He's just like he knows it's a joke, but um, he's not saying anything. Um, I assume he had sent them once he had seen um, Peanut. I believe is uh, Nick Nevin's owl's name. Yes. Mm. Nod. Yep. And I imagine they did not get very far when talking to you. No. no. Hmm. <coughs> At that, he kind of... There's like a small smile on his face. I see. <laughs> Apologies. It's kind of a... It's kind of, it's well-known knowledge uh, among the denizens of this mountain since he is here often. Um, and you might find this interesting um, since you are a assistant, I would say, to Nick Nevin and kind of just looks towards Zaitari. Uh, she is my patron, so I suppose yes. Bor Boreas has intentions of courting your patron. Oh, interesting. Mm, probably why the Ice Maidens were inquiring. I'll have to ask her about that, I guess. <laughs> I assume she'll have much to say about that. Um, I'm sure. But I'm I'm sure you aren't here to talk about um, potential romantic interests for Nick Nevin. No. Uh, I will once again motion for Aoife. <laughs> it's like, please help me. Uh, yeah, so uh, here's the rundown. Whiteboard. <laughs> He 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 stand he he looks at the chalkboard whiteboard uh, with interest. I see. I know of the old one threat you speak about. I have heard many things about this, and I've heard things about all of you actually. Oh, word gets around. Mm -hmm. Word gets around rather quickly, or I have my ways of finding things out rather quickly um cool so i would be able to help you with this key situation i'm assuming there's going to be a but no there is no but because simply if i do not help you and increase the chances of your mission to be a success, well, we are all doomed. You are literally the first true. reasonable person we've met and encountered <laughs> when asking for help. Thank you so much, and I do mean that. <laughs> Look, if my soul gets sold to a fae for the sake of saving the world, so be it. Okay, it's your soul. He he like puts up his like, like monk honor. I, I would a monk fuck over another monk. I am I am an animal lord. I am not a fae lord or fae lady, and I do not deal in those kind of favors. I just I can't begin to express how nice it is to actually encounter someone who's pragmatic about the end of the world for once. It is, it is rather nice. Um, so, I will have to consult your patron. Um, I believe she would have the means of getting me or any allies you have acquired in the Feywild to the proper location. Since I assume it's not going to be the Feywild. I assume it's going to be back on the Prime Material Plane. Yes. Are there any other questions you have for me or anything else you need assistance with since you are here? Um, we heard that uh, you are an 
an associate of I'm seeing if I can remember uh, the queen of uh, Manus? I am. Um, the Gerda. She is a warrior of great ferocity. Um, I assume you would like her to help uh, with your current mission as well with the old one. Her ferocity is quite um, known in the Feywild. It would be of great assistance. I will pass the message on to her. I'm sure she would... Let's put it this way. Uh, her... Her thirst for battle is quite well known. And if it's indeed going to be the end of all as we know it, I think she'd like to go down swinging. Excellent. So I will contact her on your behalf, and hopefully uh, Nick Nevin can get us all to the correct and proper location. <sighs> yes, uh, very much so. Um, Nick Nevin also advised us um, that you are a knower of secrets, um, and we have with us this meteor hammer that uh, we would very much like to awaken. Um, Nick Nevin gave us some hints on what we could do, but if you have any more specific advice, we're all ears. Uh, he will look at it, and he will... Hmm. This one wants tomorrow's. I see that easily. Craftsmanship... The sigils, the material itself, they all exude her presence. And because she has died, it no longer works magically. So you are looking for a way to re re reignite this weaponry for your uses. Yes. Hmm. This is quite the endeavor. It's everything we do. Have you come into any contact with any of her sparks? Yes. Sort of. Sort of? Uh, her daughter has... Uh, one for her possession right now. I believe you would need two minimum to get this back to where it needs to be. In usable condition. Do you have any other uh, sparks of tomorrow lying around? He goes over, give me a moment, and he will go to the scroll, one of the scroll rooms you pass, mm -hmm. and he just quietly walks back, and he opens it up. I do know of one other. Ooh! <laughs> do not ask me how or why with the logistics of this one because it perplexes me so many many years ago there was a necromancer who came in contact with a spark of Tamara Unfortunately for him, he was one of these necromancers who could not figure out how to prolong his life and escape the clutches of enemies. So he hid the spark 
he was a he was very talented and could create vessels to hold sparks in seemingly mundane objects. And then he kind of like looks towards you and then his eyes kind of fall on Aoife. Mm -hmm. One day, he thought to hide the spark into something not so mundane that nobody would ever figure out that it was contained in it. See, the problem with us, like with hiding a spark is when you hide it in an item without, say, you would have to cast many illusion illusory magics for it to not appear as it is. And then if you use a detect magic spell, you get the loser, or loser illusion magic detected. I'm sure you all have experienced things like that before. I'm sure we all nod along. Yep. <sighs> so, he came up with a brilliant idea to hide the divine spark in a pocket dimension. And that pocket dimension was a bird. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for it, man. And the pocket <sighs> dimension, and in that pocket, and the key to that pocket dimension is a bird. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my god! Was, and he gave this bird to a child. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Who grew grew up to be a cleric. Uh huh. <laughs> he just got her head in her hands. <laughs> I think we all do at this point. We're all just like, oh my fucking god. Who, through a convoluted series of circumstances, went, fell into friendship with a bear, and through another convoluted series, fell into friendship with a person. And he, he just looks at you. Yeah, I think we're aware of uh, the fact that it's Tweet now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. per apparently, it has a purchase for orphans. <laughs> Fucking thanks. Oh, Lek was Jeez. also an orphan. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> All right, how do we... Would you happen to know how we... Uh, use the bird as a key to this pocket dimension, exactly. I mean, you've seen me use a fork guitar, I can use anything. <laughs> You'll have to speak with the current matron of uh, the orphanage for that information. Okay. And back to the orphanage we go. Then. At least it's a hop, we... skip, and away. Yeah, I guess uh, when we plane shift back, we'll just go to the orphanage. Gla it's certainly a thought. Glad I could be of assistance. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Do you have any other questions? <laughs> <clears throat> um, I don't think so, but because of the whole time difference issue between, you know, the Feywild and the Material Plane, you may want to pop over sooner rather than later because we're not exactly sure when this whole old one thing's going to go down. Mm. I had planned on going to Nick Nevin after this. Fair. She'll be able to well, assist with after, those effects. After I, I speak to Lagurda. 
then I'll pop over to McNevin and well, all of us. There is a and there is a bird on my screen. <laughs> um, seeing as you are yourself a keymaster, we're looking for any that we can get the assistance of. Any more? There's um, a lot of manipulation that's going to have to happen. Yeah, if there's anybody else that you know um, that we can recruit to this cause, it would be of great help. Um, I have Especially even more if we don't have to go do it personally. It's no offense to you, we just have a lot of places that we need to go and people to talk to. I, I understand. I, I had also planned on bringing my, some of my disciples with me. I assume, with your plan, um, you'll need as many combatants as possible going inside the old one. Yes. First yeah. of all. Luckily, I can shape shift into a smaller form. Yeah, he is currently huge, so you know. So he is. Like, is just or Aoife, uh Melanie's probably just looking like at him, like I could be that big. Yeah, mm. <laughs> you're not that special. <laughs> yeah, we could all change sizes, bro. Not all of us. <laughs> But I will do so immediately after this conversation. Um, anything else that you want to know about? Usually I do not give knowledge this freely, but seeing in, we are in the situ current situation we are in. Well, we welcome any assistance that we can get. Mm. Well, I can't. Well, if you don't have any, any other questions, I am going. And he, like, when he stands up, he, you know, he's at his full <coughs> height. Mm -hmm. um, I will go and start preparing for our departure and to speak with Lagerda. Luckily, she is not too far away currently with the mammoth herd she is with. So we will get to her soon. Well, good luck in your further travels. Um, I suppose we'll see you again on the battlefield. Uh, we will. Or perhaps sooner. And uh, good luck with your endeavors as well. And he will stand up, bow in your direction, and he starts telling disciples in the yard um you know time to pack up we're on the move now disciples are like uh what disciples are like moo 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 no i mean he can't one of his languages is well besides all um One of his things is... Where is it? Speak with bovines. Brother Ox can communicate with any bovine creature as if they shared a language. Cool. Yep. Um, is Tilda able to... Plane shift us back out now, or do we have to sleep? Um, I have an eighth and a ninth level spell slot so we can bamf out now if we want to. I mean, technically we we're to. all done, and um, if we don't have to be near Nick Nevin when we leave to make sure that we don't get uh, time fucked, then we could just go now. Sarah, do we have to be near Nick Nevin tonight? No, get she's, time already she's, okay. she's, she's already done. She's already. She already did the thing. <laughs> okay. All right. And you're, are you playing shifting back to the orphanage, or you want to wait for that? It'll be the easiest thing just to pop yeah. back there. I think. Um, I think I will. Yeah. Get 
will go to uh what is it it's like wingfall or mm-hmm. wingfall wing or something and tweet wingfall. is currently at the keep clear tweet is currently at the keep i don't know if we want to bring tweet with us or what well we could we could also plane shift back to the keep and i can teleport us to um the orphanage either works yeah i think okay in that case plane shift to keep okay retrieve tweet okay tweet Go come to... tweets like what tweets like bird bird, bird. food bird food food food, food. <laughs> just run run into the live the book the book of my own grab tweet and just run out <laughs> tweet like squat just literally <laughs> grab it like around yeah. the body of you go <laughs> like a little squeeze toy. Like just the hand reaches in and just <laughs> <laughs> Looney Tune. Okay. Like when uh the one hand like I think it was in Aladdin when I think Jafar grabs Iago and he just goes like Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then you can teleport to Wingfall whenever. I mean, I'll just teleport us there now if we okay. don't need to stay here. So. Yep. Uh, to their teleportation circle. Yep. Because they have one. Yep. I have it written in my notes. Uh, when you teleport to the teleportation circle... Please, uh, God. Um, it is pitch black because it's in a it's in the dark room. Nobody knew where you're coming. Okay, dancing lights. <laughs> yep. Um, after like a minute, um, you hear like footsteps coming from outside of the room, and like the room opens and uh, Pip is there. Uh, she must have gotten. You figured she must have gotten like a little trigger or alarm. Had hey, somebody used a circle here. <laughs> yeah. Mental <laughs> um, alarm. Weep, whoop, weep, whoop. Invader, invader. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you see Pip there. She's got her, like, holy symbol out ready to go. And then behind her, there's a hunter to Knoll who has, like, a crossbow with him. And they, mm-hmm. they're, they like, aiming it. And they're like, oh, it's just you. <laughs> yeah, I just I just do that head motion that's, like, sup. <laughs> and don't say anything. Um, And Pip's like... Hello there. Pip, darling. Oh, hi! How are you guys doing? Oh, come in, come in, come. Well, not in, but come, come on, come on, come on. Uh, can I help you with something? We seek answers. Oh. I ah. just gesture towards the bird. Apparently, this is a key to a pocket dimension. Uh, you see, like Pip adjust her glasses. Oh my God! Tweet, hey! It's like. Gently, like, grab the bird. Hey, how you doing, buddy? And she kind of, like, the nuzzles wires. her head. Oh, so cute. Been a while since I've seen you. Um, wh- what did you say? Uh, apparently, this bird is a key to a pocket dimension. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that silly thing. Um... Um, well, yeah, yeah, he he, he is. Technically. Um, we were wondering if you could show us how to get to said pocket dimension. We have need of it. Mm. Well. We need it to get into the pocket dimension to awaken uh, you need Isla's this- magic yo-yo. You need you need the spark that's in the pocket dimension. Yes. Okay. And also, we maybe should consider giving it to Roka before we do that. Just yeah, I'm gonna. It. I'll send a sending to Roka. Say, hey, so, uh, we found another one of your mom's spark. <laughs> Can you uh, come to where we are right now? Uh, OMG on my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a little Pepper. difficult, says Pip. As as with all things, you 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 realize with um, pocket dimensions and living vessels. Um. 
Listen, nothing's easy. Yeah, we nothing's, just came from nothing's, the Feywild, so, Nothing's you know. ever easy. Uh, this is like, if you need the spark, it's, it's, a, it's kind of, there's like a kind of sort of protection system put in place. You're gonna have to talk to Lek about that. Isn't Lek dead? Yeah. Mm. How are we going to talk to Lek about that if she's dead? Um. Speak with dead, I presume? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Of course not. <laughs> it wouldn't... <laughs> Couldn't be that easy. No, but. sparks are really important, so she figured, you know, not everybody should ha be able to get their hands on one, because, you know, the implications of get getting one. Sure. Yeah. Pip, could you please just explain it to us? You're gonna have to fight her. But we have... We, ha we know the daughter of Tamara. She's coming here. How are we supposed to fight her and talk to her if she also, is dead? Also, can we just not? Can yeah, we yeah. get a free pass? Like, we know the daughter of Tamara. <laughs> We're going to give it to her. We're saving the world. <sighs> and the plane. And the neighboring planes. Yeah, I, I know, but like, <laughs> it, that's not my decision. And I, I'm i not the one who put the, 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 the traps in place and the. the, the, the Again, could you please, Pip, darling? We are extremely busy. Could you please just explain to us Draw how we're map. supposed to do this? <sighs> Perhaps we can explain to Lek that we are trying to save the world, that we are trying to do this as quickly as possible, etc. etc. She 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 fishes just give me a moment. She's she goes off to her room. And she will take out a tuning fork. God. <sighs> You're gonna have to go to the area known as the Deep Wood. <laughs> Hands you the tuning fork. You can use this. What do we know about the deep wood? The deep wood is pretty much in Celestia. Okay. It is Melora's domain. Gotcha. Um, Lek is there. Uh, well, currently her body is there. Um,. Once you get there with Tweet, Tweet will know what to do. That's all I was told. I wasn't told anything else. I take the tuning fork and, like, stick it into my bag of holding. Mm. And I'm sorry I don't have any other information. That's all she left to me. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Well, we should go, then. No need for us to be um, taking up your time. Thank you for not shooting us when we first came in. No. I say to the uh, troll, uh, no. not troll, no. uh, Noel. He gr he um he he got kind of <clears throat> no problem. I'm gonna go finish the I'm gonna go finish uh, dinner for the uh, for the kids. He like you know 
trots off once he knows you guys are done. Well, says Pip, safe travels. I'm going to hand over uh, 500 gold for the children. Uh, uh, um, thank you. All right, everybody, back in the bus. Well, we need to sleep first. We've officially used a lot of our high-level spell slots now. Well, we can do that back at the keep, can we not? Oh, yeah, no, we can do that, totally. I just thought you meant, like, back on the bus of doing plane shift again. No. Although I could plane shift us. I would You have to use my ninth-level spell, but... Um, you know. Nah, let's just go back to the keep and then... Then we'll go. Okay. Uh, this is a good place to end it. Um... Next game will be on the 10th. <laughs> Hopefully nobody loses power. Nobody Ooh. uses electricity. Nobody's <laughs> house is on fire. <laughs> Hopefully everything is fine. 